Hello guys and welcome down to Flamingo Land. It's the first time visiting. You know what? It's raining, but it's very bright. We'll put shades on. Um, yeah, we're here at Flamingo Land. First time visiting. First impressions. Really nice park. Nice entrance way. You should come in. As I said, it's pretty dark right now. Joe's just doing a live over there. There's Ravens. And uh, here's the new coaster for 2021, probably. But yeah, let's raise it up and see if we can get a good look. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, like Joe's just saying as well, the, the, the way the way into the park was pretty flawless actually. You get your tickets out on your phone and you go to a booth and then you just scan your tickets and, and that's good to go. Yeah. So I believe we're gonna go on Kumali first, which is the SLC coaster. Um, I don't like SLC coasters, but we're gonna see what this one's like. I believe Velocity is just there. Everything is really close proximity to each other as well. I didn't expect everything to be quite this close. Mumbo Jumbo is probably the, the the ride that is most furthest away from anything. Oh, Kamali maybe, but yeah. I don't know. Let's see what Joe's saying. Velocity is off. But again, very yeah, quiet it's, launch. It's looking very likely that that's going to be the case. So I'll wrap it up there for now, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing loads more of these throughout the day. Uh, hopefully, we'll be meeting a couple of people on park. Hey, <laughs> on the vlog. On the vlog. On the vlog. I'm selling. <laughs> so I'll just give you guys a quick overview of the crowd level here today. It's not very. There's not a lot of people at all, to be fair. Um, I don't know what it's usually like, but I can imagine this place being absolutely rammed. Um, social distancing markers are down. Uh, there's a few outside. The benches are spread out. And they have these little blue markers where the benches had to be socially distanced. Which is really cool. Um, yeah, this is, this is literally the crowd level right now here at Flamingo Land. Um, velocity has got a little bit of a queue. I'm gonna head over to Kamali. Yes. All right. Let's officially get let's officially get Joe on the vlog now. All right, Joe. Say hi to the people. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So sorry, I was just doing a live there. Uh, First great, impressions? Um. Yeah. It's it's Impressive. looking really good. It really is. Uh, they've obviously you know done a good solid let's, job. Let's walk on top. Yeah. Let's do that. It's uh, raining. It is. I don't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's looking very good, very fresh. The park have obviously taken extra care, you know, this year in terms of getting it ready for opening. Uh, we've also got new signs there as well. Oh yeah, that's brand new. New uh, signs, so very nicely and presented. And overall, yeah, fantastic first impressions. Just great to be back on the park. That obviously. turnaround looks great. Oh, it does. Look really How cool. close it is. It's nice and forceful, on that. I reckon. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh, Good to be back and it's also going to be good to see Luke's first reactions on a lot of these rides. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Velocity's well, launch is really quiet. It's a long launch as well. Um, well I, didn't, I didn't expect it to be quite that long of a launch, but... So here's, here's the turnaround for the inversion coaster. So obviously you've got the, the four rolls there and then it comes around. And then you've got the stinky roll there, which you don't actually see on Colossus that well. But... Um, this is the queue line. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> I'm wearing shades, it's raining, it's really bright. <laughs> so, social distancing mark is just down here now. It's on the floor. I'm guessing this is the Velocity's queue. Velocity's queue doesn't even look at me. Really? Um, It's Velocity, look at this. I believe this is where it finishes. Yeah, that's a, no, that's just the launch. This is where it goes out for the launch. You have to bear with me today, guys. I might not know everything that's going on. <laughs> Hold on to your hats and glasses. All right, I think we'll get it coming back down as well. I'm not queuing up for this ride, by the way. <laughs> I'm not queuing up for this ride. <laughs> Our little helix there. 
You can hear the catch cable coming back. There it is, there's the catch cable. That's we cool. And now the last series is coming back over the humps. Nobody wearing a mask. Uh, not too sure how I feel about that. I brought mine anyway. I'm not wearing mine. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go over to Kamali now. Let's let's go over there. All right, so we're heading over to uh, Mumbo Jumbo instead. Kamali isn't open until 2 p.m. Apparently. It's a real shame. Yeah. I think it'll be open. Yeah. Well. But never mind. Well, the weather looks. Uh, the weather is bad today. <laughs> it's bad weather. I'm happy I bought this Wicker Man jacket now. <laughs> I really am. Got my, uh, I've so got my. So I got a little arcade there that's closed off. All the tables are set out socially distant as well, which is strange because no one's wearing a mask on the rides. Um, is that? Still don't know how I feel about that. Considering everywhere I've been, people have been wearing masks. Joe's actually wearing his mask now. Um, um, so yeah, I think I'm a... They are cleaning though. There's a guy there wiping down tables. Straight away, I'm doing just open. That's pretty cool to see though. Really good. Um, all right, Kamali, let's have a look at Kamali. So it actually looks really impressive. I like the paint job. It used to be a lot more vibrant, but obviously time's gone and the weather's got to it a bit, but it still looks nice and bright. Yeah, I do like that paint job though. It's really cool. Where are we actually going? I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Mumbo Jumbo, I think. Is that where we're going? Yep, that's fun. Mumbo Jumbo. Any fan of Peach? Nope. <laughs> no fan of Peach. Fun park. <laughs> um, what's that? Submarine? Uh, yeah. It's a splash, splash battle. A bit like a splash battle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that thing is a soaker as well, he get absolutely crushed. Look how high that first drop is off the floor. Indeed. Like um, the Al Loco that I've seen is the one in Las Vegas in the Adventure Dome. Um, I just like something on fire right at the yeah, back there. Yeah, I thought that I was looking over. Yeah. It's not good. Seems pretty quiet though, like the park itself seems pretty quiet. Doesn't it? What time's close? Uh, five o'clock as far as I'm aware. Huh. All right, Kumali. Here it is. Really nice. Really nice profile. Looks better than <laughs> um, Infusion. Oh, well, you can't even compare the two. No, ones. it's oh, a lot yeah. taller. It looks a lot taller. Um, <laughs> no. There's a train. Right, here's Kamali. Look at this. This is really impressive. It does. So Luke was talking about the two, um, you know, sort of Infusion and Kumali, and they're, they're both very different. They are obviously the same type of ride, which many of you will know. But in terms of the overall feel, they're entirely different. Now, there's not really, you know, sort of very much roughness, if at all. And even over there on that zero G roll, that's actually incredibly smooth going through that. And it's also incredibly smooth going through the vertical loop as well and also the cobra roll which you can just about see at the back there oh cliffhanger's going which is their sns drop tower now apparently this one has been on a shot and drop cycle for the last i think week or so so it's still working at the minute ah fantastic good so uh hopefully we'll be getting a ride on that later on as well but the overall feel of the park at the moment is incredibly quiet, I've got to admit. And even in the car park when we got here, you know, it was still incredibly quiet then as well. So that's kind of good. Now, it's not the best weather today, but at the end of the day, we're going to have a really good day regardless, as I'm sure uh, we always do. So, yeah, still lots more to come. So, guys, check out Mumbo Jumbo. It's an El Loco coaster and it's a clone of Steel Hogger Indiana Beach. They got the first model. This is the second model. That was really cool. So yeah, Indiana Beach in America is the only model of this, I believe. Oh yeah, we're getting in the queue now. Yep. Apparently, yeah. waiting for maintenance to sign off the ride, and then we're going to be jumping on and experiencing Mumbo Jumbo. Um, so we'll let you know 
Oh yeah, hands. Uh, POVs coming, guys. Yeah, so there's going to be a few POVs <laughs> on both channels. Like, Certainly is. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good. Quite a lot, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Check it out. Nice drop. Lots of hang time on that section there, it looks like. Right. There you go. Got so, some. kind of like hanging going over, that's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Up there, fantastic. It's hang absolutely time. chucking it down. <laughs> it's absolutely chucking it down. But we're going to do what we can. Um, it's not going to ruin the day. No, it's not going to ruin the day. Joe's uh, changed his mask up. All right, so we'll let you know how it goes and you'll be hearing all my beautiful screaming probably on the, on the POVs, but yeah, we'll let you know after Mumba Jumbo. All right, this, this, one, this one still gets me to the <laughs> Yeah, man. I boom for the end. Oh, that is a jolt. <laughs> you enjoy it, Joe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a great little ride. <laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic little model. Um, doesn't let off. I've forgotten how fun that was. That's that's really nice fun. Too. You know what? It kind of reminds me of the same type of ride as Spinball. <laughs> like, you know, the way it's like... It's just fun. That was a really fun ride. I'm, I'm happy about that. Where's that other thing? So. A bit. Right. Ooh. Mumbo Jumbo. That's a fun ride. Um, as soon as you hit the, the turnaround out the station, it doesn't let off. No, it doesn't. Really cool. Uh -oh. um, we've got POV of it as well, we're going to check that back in a bit. But that was really cool. Uh, it's pretty awesome that you can film rides here. Uh, if you've got a GoPro hanging from the GoPro, then you can just allow it. The ops have been pretty good as well. The throughput, I must say as well, has been awesome. That's fine for literally one after the other one. Yeah, I mean, really good. 20 minutes? Yeah, I'd say so. A little bit over 20. I mean, it said at one point we were kind of right in the queue line. It said 90 minutes from this point, so I estimated about 60. No way, more like 20, 25 at the very most. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Although know. they don't seem to be doing any cleaning in between rides right now. Not at the moment, they don't. Unless no. we're not seeing it. Good point, yeah, because we're not here all the time, but obviously, you know, you would hope they're doing something with it. I mean, at the end of the day. They do know. have all the cleaning stuff in the station. They do, yeah. A velocity had loads of rags, loads of disinfectant, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, they probably are doing the job that way. The only thing for me is, is that not everybody, uh, but a lot of people like me and Joe are choosing, they, we are choosing to wear masks on the rides because nobody else is. Yeah, we are. It's just a person. I think maybe they just see it as it's not mandatory, it's personal preference. At the end of the day though, you've got to think of your health. Especially, you have. Especially at the moment. You have. It's weird. That's the only weird thing about today. And now we're going to get coffee, right? Yep. That's what they are. <laughs> that bit really threw me off the tip out such a simple concept, but it makes you feel really insecure up there because you're so high. This is the best bit for me. Yeah. All right, there you go, mumbo jumbo. Off ride. 
All right, so just like Blackpool, you can get chips. I'm giving you your condiments and another like extra thing there. Like on my phone. It's got some nice chippy chips. Yeah. Mmm. Just literally like you would get out the chippy. Yeah, exactly the same. Really nice. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can hear a banjo playing. So we're gonna go on this sky swinger, uh, pterodactyl, right up there. And uh, Joe's gonna POV it, so you guys, you guys will see it. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Literally a bar and then a swing. I think there's a seatbelt. Uh, yeah, there's a seatbelt. Yeah, it looks like there's a seatbelt. But yeah, this is gonna be really fun. Some nice views of the park. And again. Yeah. So we're getting on. We're gonna get on and we'll be back to you when we've come off. Oh we well, enjoy the POV. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute, halfway up there. This is crazy. The only way is up. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's windy! I'm not even at the top yet. Yeah. Beautiful view. Look at the new coaster. Got some good views of the new coaster, yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> not to 100 foot in about a minute. That was crazy. Oh man, that wind when you get around that corner. This just proves I'm not scared of heights anymore. <laughs> Kick the feet out. Watch your phone. <laughs> Watch your phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Giraffes over there just chilling with the zebras. You can see the giraffes. Over there, there's a wow, you can feel the uh, centrifugal force as you move your arm. Um, you can't move your arm. <laughs> As we're spinning that much? Ah. Yeah, you can feel it though, right? Yeah. Are we swinging even more now? <laughs> I didn't even realise that I had my shades on my head when we took off. <laughs> That's kind of starting to wonder if we're going back down again. <laughs> we actually are going down now. We are now, yeah. This is so cool. We're so blessed to be able to give you guys POVs. We really are. Like to do the POVs is something we've wanted to do for so long. And it'd be so cool if we could Let's do it. You probably can't hear a single thing we're saying, but. It's windy. <laughs> it Mama. is when you get around that corner. Trees! That is close. Then <laughs> <laughs> they got a foot full of tree then. Whoa. There we go. Please remain seated. Put the rhino. Oh, yeah. That was fun. But well, that's woke me up. Definitely uh, make it busy. So we've just done a uh, pterodactyl, sky swinger. We were up there for, you said the POV anyway, but we were up there for ages. Really fun. You could see all of the new coast foundations layout the station you could see everything so if you guys come into flamingo land and you want to see the new coaster from a different angle ride that <laughs> ride that but you will get dizzy very dizzy yeah incredible <laughs> all right so speaking of dizzy i think we're gonna go and do a spinning coaster now and uh yeah it's been a good day shaky start oh okay yeah ah. Guinness World Book of Records, what for? Uh, oldest person to ride a roller coaster. Really? Okay. Let's have a look. All the stores and shops are closed though, guys. As you can see, dino stores. Hey, look, look at this. Certificate. Jack Reynolds. Sorry, it's 105. Wow. Props to you. 
and more hand sanitizer stations as well as we get up to Swiss Thesaurus. Joey using. <laughs> there you go, more hand washing action. Just grab that side. There you go, that's mine. Look at Ooh, this. Look at those. Beautiful. Ooh. For those of you who like hand thing. Hand thing. <laughs> uh, that Lost River ride looks pretty cool. It is extremely. It's not open though, is it? It's a shame that it's actually closed, yeah. But, um, Ooh, apart very sticky. I know it was. Apparently, they've been filling up the trough. So. It smells like beer. Oh, it's the same stuff they use in Costa, is that? Ah. Exactly the same. It's made in the Scottish, Scottish distillery. Okay, we're going on this. Wow. That first carriage is really going for it. Is it twice or once? Twice. Twice. Two lap special. Two lap special. So this is your typical family coaster. Uh, but with a twist, hey? Hey. I like that one. This is the second lap. Brilliant. Rolling up. <laughs> We've just come off Twistosaurus, that was fun, but I just wanted to show you guys these benches and how they're separated on the way up to the zoo. Zoo entrance is here, I believe. Uh, it is, yeah. Yeah? Yep. And uh, you can just see how spread out all the benches are on this lawn. It was actually really good. Um, the way they've handled stuff in the park is good, really good. The staff, however, like we said previously, I'm not wearing masks. I don't know why. Well, there was one member of staff that was. But yeah, there was one member of staff who was wearing an icon mask. Other than that, no. <laughs> Which is crazy, because now I want to buy something from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And you're at Flamingo Land. After being at Flamingo Land. <laughs> which, which is insane, right? Oh yeah, big time. This bit reminds me of... This bit there, I just felt like I was at Alton Towers then. Yeah, it's got a very, a very like, similar... You look at the size of the trees. Uh, like you going around CBB's land, like that area where you like walking towards exit, kind of felt like that. Peter Rabbit blasted out as well. Peter Rabbit. So that's the Park Cell Mean Door Dart ride, which is actually pretty shut. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and them stuff should really be like closed off. Amazing. So what's this round here then? So this is like the kids area, right? So this is, yeah, it's an area for the smaller kids. You've got smaller rides. Muddy Duck Farm. Muddy Duck Farm, yeah. You've got oh. smaller rides. You've got a Why? gigantic play area, <laughs> which is off your right hand side. Oh, wow. Adventure playground, which I believe will be now open. The zoo shop. Uh, if you carry on going full past where it says zoo shopping up there, that's basically the zoo area and where you can sort of start. But you can get to it from both sides. You can either go uh, that way or you can go that way. 
the juice shop is currently closed though. There's a cafe though. Yep, so we're going to head to the cafe. Oh, is it actually Costa? It's Costa, yeah. Oh, nice. Do they do Frozen? That's a good question. This is a petting sure. zoo. Where you can pet some animals. Mm -hmm. Some donkeys. Fragrant. Very fragrant. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. This is a nice themed little area. I would say this is more themed than any of the other areas. I'd agree. Um, yeah. So, because we have, so we have tickets for the park. We do. do we have access to the zoo then as well? We do, yeah. So not only do you get to go, it's basically like Chesington, where you get to go in the zoo and the park because you have the one. Cool. Exactly. That's really cool. And again. Mm. Not really that great separation, but you can see where people have been sitting. It is quite social distance, but yeah. All right, we're going in? Yep, going in. Going in. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of trouble coming towards us right now. We are scared. We've just got ourselves a Costa. Oh, Costa in there, by the way. It's one way in, and they've blocked off all the paths up to the counter with... Seating. Uh, yeah, seating. <laughs> and they have waiting points. I've not been in any other Costa that I've seen that. No, I've not either. What I'm noticing is that consistency is the issue. It's not what they're not doing, what they are doing. It's consistency, right? It is, yeah, I'd agree, definitely. This guy. <laughs> I'm gonna nab something out of my bag. I know what he's doing. He's eating the nappers, bird nappers. He's eating the worms. So as Luke said, you know, that there are parts of the park where it's really well done, obviously like Costa right now. I mean, I, whether that's down to it being an external contract or whether it's actually an on-site and they're just basically selling a brand don't know mm. but there are parts of the park where they're doing social distancing really well everything's spaced out as it should be uh, and they've obviously thought things through there are other parts of the park for instance like the rides where certain members of staff you know there's one i think we've seen one member of staff so far wearing a mask which i know we keep saying but there's been no other members wearing you know sort of masks uh, and also the public as well there's very very little public wearing masks on the park today now me and luke obviously are doing but in terms of everybody else it seems to be that well we don't have to wear it so we're not going to wear it you know there's no consideration and obviously sort of no consistency if you will as well like i said so yeah it's a bit of a funny one but i wonder if the staff have been given the choice hmm. that's the only thing i can think about yeah I'd, I'd probably say so. And then that ride up didn't wear a mask until he saw us wearing masks, so maybe it actually encouraged the ride up to wear a mask. Which is a positive move. It's a good thing. So, like, we, the only ride, the only the only ride that I struggled with with my mask was the Sky Swinger. What's it called, the Sky Swinger? Uh, Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Yeah. Struggled on that. It came came down a little, but that's my fault. So I didn't realise that I had my shades on on top of my head when we when we literally got to about fifty foot. I was like, oh no, my shades, and I pull my shades down. So obviously I pull my shades down and I'm, my mask hasn't been attached to my ears. So these snood masks are really good and they're cheap now on Amazon. Really good. So just look how they fit. Your ears come through there. You look a bit like Hollow Man, but <laughs> <laughs> they're good and they don't move. This didn't move on velocity and this one actually goes all the way down. It does have a filter. You just can't see it. It does have a filter. Uh, but yeah, it's good. So we're just sitting down now. Yeah, indeed. And we're getting ready for Kamali. So in case you guys are wondering how an evac works on velocity, this is how. <laughs> um, currently Mumbo Jumbo has stopped moving, velocity has stopped moving. It has started to rain a lot heavier though, I think that could be the cause of it. And a ride engineer did walk past us and just said it will be rain on the sensor. He did, yeah. So, we don't know. But yeah, there you go. It's an e-back on velocity. <laughs> and it actually rolled back to the station and then went forward back onto the launch section, pre-launch section. So, yeah. Not, not something you see every day, is it? No, it's not. Um, so now we're going to head over to Kamali and get ready to get in the queue for that. But the way things are going right now, there's not much going round. Um, Mumbo Jumbo's not moving. Um, <laughs> Hero's still doing its slushy maker machine thing that it does. Uh, um, yeah. Um, I think Kamali might have just opened. A few people have just run past us. So. Is it actually two o'clock yet? I don't actually know. Your phone's in the back in the front. Oh. But we can head over to Kamali. Mm. Yeah, Mumbo Jumbo is definitely not moving. Oh, hang on, there's, there's people working on it though. 
You can just see through the gap. There are people working on it. Huh? Yes. I'd say it's probably opening up to people to Top foot in it over there. Yeah. Kind of feels like they're causing all the other rides to give Kumali power. <laughs> Sit down and read this. Yeah. I mean, you can just see how dark the skies are. It's going to bounce it. Uh, it's going to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, a few rides that aren't running today is the, is it the flip flop. Yep, that's not running. Flip flop's not running. And this, what's this called? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Splash battle sometimes. Splash battle, yeah, splash battle's closed. And all of you, all of the kiosks as well are closed as you walk around the park. But these, like, splash pads <laughs> are actually, <laughs> they're still going. Yeah. Um, so we're going over to Kumali now. Showed it to you guys earlier when it wasn't raining. And here it is when it is raining. <laughs> It literally has been like we've been in a jungle today. <laughs> the amount of rain we've had. Quite appropriate for the park really. Isn't yeah, it? absolutely it is. And you can see the... Yeah, there's a, quite a big crowd gathering over by Kamali's entrance. So we're going to head in there and yeah. ride this thing. Jump in the line and get long. It looks awesome. It looks really good. I'm looking forward to that cover roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that first drop. But there's no sign saying that the rides are closed. No. That actually does sound like Mumbo Jumbo's friction wheels. Oh, there's people on the ride. So, so Kamali has just opened. Sweet. All right, here we go. My first ride on Kamali. And, Kamali. and, you you'll be able to witness it. But just look at the, just look at the track. So it comes down there, straight through that turn. You said it pulls about 4.5 there, didn't you? 4.7 G, G's on that turn. Wow. Into the loop, into a cobra roll, zero G, back over into a helix and then into the, uh, into the brakes. Oh, I thought there was people sat on the ride. I must have seen things. <laughs> it's crazy though. This is the only theme park I've been to where you can actually walk in the queue line if the ride is closed, which is, different isn't it Extremely. yeah you couldn't do this at alton towers there'd be a host although i am guessing the staffing levels are quite low right now yeah which is probably why <laughs> but we're just kind of all gathering here right now hoping for the best there isn't even any staff around here <laughs> there's nobody no, this coat i think voodoo is supposed to open up at two as well which is the first pirate ship so <laughs> doesn't worth getting on that too yeah. I'd say we're definitely coming at the right time because people are Oh, Mumbo Jumbo! Out. There you go, Mumbo Jumbo's back up. There you go, come on. And sanitized station as you go in. There you go. Empty. Yeah, it is empty. Yeah, it's running empty with test trains. Look at the helix. Oh, that's a cool helix. It's almost like an inclined thing. I walk into the thing. <sighs> All right. Yeah, now in the line for Kumali. Looking forward to it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, so you hit the bottom of that drop. Oh yeah. Yeah, so only it's supposed to be only put two is that. There we go.
<laughs> okay, come on, then. I see you. <laughs> that was good. Oh, yeah. That was smooth. Told you. Yeah. A smooth SLC is possible. <laughs> well, I proved that in the limits. Yeah, I just proved that with Kumali as well. <laughs> um, I'm confused. A smooth SLC. <laughs> Best ride here, by far. Intense. The zero G didn't really have much zero G on it. No. It goes really quick through it. But other than that, great ride. That turn. Oh, it's incredible. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. And actually, we were testing this today. We were. Because as soon as they opened, <laughs> Straight on. We were on. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. Also, Flamingo Land, just put a host at the entrance to the ride and say it's not open yet for another 20 minutes, come back. Yeah. Simple. It can even be the ride operator because yeah. they know when they're going to show up. Exactly, yeah. So just put a host at the sign saying, or a sign out with like a timer on it. Easy, easy fix. And then people won't be confused. Just a bit of clarity, you know. So know what's happening. More clarity is definitely needed at this park. Mm. Absolutely. So we're gonna just gonna chill here in a minute. Right. I'll show you the layout, and then we're gonna head over to Mumbo Jumbo because everybody's coming over here now. And probably get Mumbo Jumbo and Hero done finally. I don't know what. Um, got two trains, but they only run one. They do, yeah. And what they apparently do each year is they change over the train. Um, so one year they'll run, they'll run one train, then in the winter season they'll swap it over in readiness for the summer season with the next train but in all honesty so this is 2018's train this will be 2018's train yeah so yeah. 2018 2019 20, yeah 2018's yeah. train and you know with the, the queue that that ride gets because let's face it at the moment this ride is the park's signature ride you know the, there's a sizable queue forming over there two trains will be a very good option it will eat through that queue and you know it's going to make the ride more appealing and when they open that new one next year which again i assume will be next year mm. they're going to want to do something with that to actually still try and pull the crowds in because everybody will go to that new ride there so, is uh, there, there is a lot of gray track there is a lot of gray track on yeah. on that new ride mm. which makes me think did it actually make the pull through you see i think it probably did yeah i yeah. think it got through it yeah yeah i think it got through it but, um, but only time will tell yeah. So first train of the day this is the second train going now maybe we went around too quick that's why it doesn't want to go right now from the station but we'll find out in a minute oh, either way. there are social distancing markers all the way down here i know it's something pretty cool as well in the flooring um i can i can't see one near me uh, there were some leaf stencils there's one over there i'll go to it in a second what are they doing i don't know can you see that leaf right there? It's actually in the cement and that goes all the way around this area. I don't know if you can see that. I'll make it a bit brighter on the, on the GoPro. But yeah, look at that. That's a really cool little bit of theming. This is probably the, other than the little stupid red tape or the red rings. Why have you got like bonfire night at a cricket club railing set up? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that. I don't get that either. Okay. Watch him. Watch how it just hangs. Hanging. 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 Soon as that back carriage goes, boom. Off. How was the pirate ship? Quite fun. Good. Good. Oh, hmm. A toilet that way, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, they're inside that little thing. Yeah. Hero? Yes. And then we've done pretty much everything that we need to do. Pirates that we have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's like an adventure playground, you see on the left. It's 
post. So that's actually paintballing. Oh, paintball! Uh, Undercover paintballing. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, that looks at that. Looks like it's been, uh, looks like it's getting taken out. Yeah, well. Probably. Imagine a stray bullet, you won't come out, you get hit. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, yeah, that was paintball. But, <laughs> uh, splish splash. You don't really need that today. Absolutely not. We've been splish splashed so many times by the rain. Yeah. We're gonna head on back. It's a shame there isn't a shop open for much, but I can understand why. Yeah. I would like, I would like to put it, but... Another thing for Flamingo Lab Fossil is an online store. Yeah. Because practically that works. Why are they here? Are they for the splash pad or... Do you wait here and then you go in? Or... I don't know. <laughs> are they just... It's a bit random, aren't they? Okay. Yeah. No muddy shoes. <laughs> no muddy shoes. Alright, we'll check back in when we get to Hero. Yay! Falling out. All right, I've done hero. The rolls were smooth. Um, the rest of it was the lift hill was cool. Yeah, that's different. I enjoyed that. Yeah. I didn't enjoy getting in it. I think if they put some like gel pads instead of like the solid uh, restraints that they use, because I can feel that now. Actually, the more I talk about it, the more I hurt. <laughs> but it was fun. Every ride here at Flamingo Land's been fun. I've had a really good day. Um, for me, Kamali is, it just tops the rest. It's the standard above everything else. Yeah. It really is. Velocity is really good, but Kamali's just got that extra bit. I don't know what it is. I think it's just, it does so much. A loop, a Cobra roll, and a zero G in one SLC. You don't usually get that. No, you don't. No. And these guys have been awesome as well. Uh, yeah. We, we like the new pinch of the Velocity. Yeah, it's good. I've never seen the old, I've seen pictures. It used to be like a turquoise, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. it did. The only Look, thing we have heard it on is if when they push the restraint on your back with a bit of green. Is that the angle? It's a bit of green. Yeah. Um, one thing I would recommend them to do is to put some signs out. If you haven't got the staff, they need to put signs out. Yeah. Like, this ride isn't opening until 2 o'clock. Don't that's, come back until... That's exactly what I've been saying. We tried to do it on the screens outside. No one's going to look at them. No. Everyone's straight in. And the rides are so close to the entrance. I was saying to Joe, when we walked to where the, the Costa is near the zoo, yeah. it felt like you was walking past CBeebies on the Alton Towers. Yeah. yeah. I wish the rest of the park had that feel. Mm. More trees, less rides close to it, so close. It's like... There used to be a lot more trees in here. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. I could see where Especially they put the, rides in, in the middle. The, Velocity's launches, there used to be two flat rides there, yeah. Flamingo Star UFO, and you've got massive trees behind it. It made you feel like you were in close, it didn't it better? Yeah, because like when we walked up there, it felt like I was in a themed area. Mm. And the rest of this side, other than Kamali, but SLC is always 
hold their theme quite well to their own plaza. And the one at um, Sarah Mitica does the same. Infusion arguably does it as well. It's the cues on water, isn't it? So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the dinosaur part's good. We went on Twistosaurus, that was fun. Um, we had a cracking time though. Apart from uh, that mouse trap right there. Um, yeah, I don't I no, no longer need to see a chiropractor, which is uh, <laughs> going to save me a bit of money, but other than that, it's been, uh, it's been a good day, it really has. Yeah, um, it's been good. The weather's been a bit trash. All but... the major coasters, in fact, we've got a re-ride on Mumbo Jumbo, which has been great. I've got Voodoo. Um, overall, yeah, fantastic day, had a really good job. Is Velocity still open? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think we might get in the queue for that. Yeah, I think we should, yeah. Let's go and ride Velocity for the last time. Yeah. So, as you saw, we just came off Hero, and this is um, looking like the new plaza for the new ride. And currently it's only, you know, 10 spine tingling inversions. The signs there over there on the right, you can just see it. You'll be able to see it on a bigger screen. Obviously, I'm just using the GoPro. But yeah, you can see where the plaza's gonna run underneath. I imagine the queue line's gonna go to the left. Um, you might actually walk, maybe tangle in with the track, come back round. I believe lost it. See the uh, train in the shed as we came past the, uh, what is that? Alright guys, well there we go, that's from England. Um, all in all, an awesome day. Um, got on all of the major coasters. Uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. Got to see the new ride, which is currently there. Um, and people saying that that is close to that fence, you're wrong. There's no one here. So, yeah. <laughs> um, for one, the train's bank in the opposite direction as well, but they do need to put something there. As you can see, it just stopped wet currently, and yeah, it's good. So I've had a fantastic time. First time at Flamingoland, really enjoyed it. Velocity, Kumali, standout rides. Kumali just by, yeah, centimeter. And I told you it was a smooth SRC. She did. She did. I was a bit, the only thing that let me down, if it was a bit rougher <laughs> on the zero g are you actually asking for a rougher ride on the, the only reason stuff? why if it was a tiny bit rougher on the uh, zero g roll you would get zero g yeah that's true because it just it just flows but there's no photo yeah. but it's been a really good day uh thank you to raymond and everybody what were they called again uh raymond sharon Stephen. yeah there you go from theme park crackers yeah thank you so much and for mingle i'm crazy as well make sure you check out that facebook group fantastic uh, we actually did the logo for him, um, which is pretty cool. Well, yeah, we're going to head on out and uh, gonna go to Morrison's now. And when we get back, we'll give our full review of the day. But I don't think it's safe to do while we're in the park. No, <laughs> definitely not. All right, guys. We'll see you when we get back. Well, then, guys, we're back at uh, Joe's now. And, um, yeah, after a great day at Flamingoland, eventually. It was a bit hit and miss at the start. 
Um, it was nice to meet up with Raymond and everybody that we spoke about before, just as we were leaving the park. It was. A um, few takeaways. Communication is shocking in the park. The staff were not forced to wear masks. Um, forced? No, for, advised, probably. Um, but we weren't told to wear masks on the rise, but we did. Voluntarily. We did. Tellery. Voluntarily. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> um, a few rides there, a few areas there. Ah, decent rides. Decent areas, but there's one bit that stood out to me more than anything, and that is by the zoo. Mm. Yeah. Um, that walkway up to the zoo felt like Alton Towers. It did. Um, I don't know why. I think it was the fact that like the trees enclosed the path, um, the way it sort of, you know, the building was kind of designed and the way the path had been laid out, it had that Alton Towers feel. Mm. Uh, and even like top part, it kind of, it's like Luke said, Luke said it best, it felt like you were walking into CBB's land. Mm. Definitely had that feel. No, I, I thought so. Mm. Um, it's a shame that there was, an, um, in the middle of the Flamingo Lands, in, in, in the, at, at the beginning, basically, you just put into this middle plaza and there's just rides, 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 rides. And they're just scattered. It'd be nice if they were placed a bit better. Like the new ride is right next to Velocity as well. Yes. It kind of takes Velocity away from the park. Yeah. It kind of overshadows it, literally. <laughs> it does, yeah. It's, um, it's... <laughs> what is cool about it though, what they've done a good job with is where we think the plaza is going to be for the new ride, which basically is in Velocity's ride area. Yeah. Um, but well, the biggest thing for me today was definitely the masks. Um, plenty of hand sanitizing, yep. plenty of social distancing. Didn't have a problem with any of that, did we? No, we didn't. Just no. people not wearing masks, staff especially. Um, do you want to talk us through Kamali? Yeah, so <laughs> that was an interesting experience. So we waited for the two o'clock opening for Kamali, which was originally scheduled to open at two o'clock, and that was due to sort of staff turnaround, um, you know, reduced staffing levels, etc. So they sort of rotated people. It was half past two when the ride opened to start with. There was no communication as to what was even going on. No um, signs. No signs whatsoever. You know, if you're going to open it later, then at least either stick a, a guest, um, you know, sort of guest host kind of on the entrance, just advising that. Yeah. Or even just put a sign out saying this ride will open at this time. Yeah. That wasn't the case. So we were literally stood there for an additional half hour waiting to find out what was going on. We eventually got on the ride. No testing whatsoever. <laughs> now, no, we were first train out. We were, literally. We got on there and we were effectively test dummies, you know. <laughs> so they just basically put us on, harnessed us up, and we were off. Um, but, you know, if you're going to do it, one, be clear. Clarity is absolutely key, especially in these times. We need to know exactly what is going on. Yeah. And secondly, if you want to send the train out, at least send it round once on the track, mm -hmm. just to make sure that it's all right, rather than just piling people on the train and just. Because it didn't it. run earlier on in the day, because we were no, looking it at it every like ten minutes. We were. Like, oh, is and it open and early? It didn't no. go around once. And no, apparently they, they said that they tested it prior to ten o'clock. Well, that's fair enough. But the train had been sat there for a what four yeah. hours, and it made one hell of a clank when it we made, left the station. Yeah, it made a rather question. You'll hear noise. it. You'll, you'll hear it. You'll hear it. You will on the POV. On the POV. Yeah, you'll yeah. hear it. But um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so for me, um, the staff's not wearing masks. Uh, the social distancing was really good. It looked like they just put everything down just so they could open. That's what it felt like. Once you were in, it's your discretion. If you are going to go to Flamingo Land Resort tomorrow, the day after, whenever, wear a mask because nobody yeah. else is. Um, it's no. that simple. Um, if you've been to Towers, been to Blackpool, been to Fop, you'll be used to it by now. So go, have a good time. Uh, experience the park, the unique rides, Hero especially. Do it safely. Yeah, do it safely and enjoy yourselves. And drop us a comment down below on what you think about your experience at Flamingo Land this year. And if you've been to any other parks as well, and let us know in this video. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to wrap it up. We're going to get some, some well, we're having some tea, some Yorkshire tea. <laughs> I got a smile on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to probably get some food and then just chill out. And we're going to start to work on this vlog. Um, probably won't be out for a couple of days, but just so you'll see probably the POVs before you see this vlog over on Joe's Facebook page, Fiend Park Insanity. We will do. Um, but then POVs will be in the vlog as well because that's the kind of the way we've done it. Yeah. But yeah, good day. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, apart from Brilliant. my leg really being a problem today, um, it's been fantastic, yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and follow us on our socials. And for now, I've been Luke. He's been Joe from Pink Park Insanity. And that was Flamingo Land 2020. <laughs>